Good morning, Mr. Tom Katz. Are you upset that I'm not at my regular work day today because I took it off? So you have to butt up with me all day? Now are you gonna have a nap in this? Like, this is comfy, Tom Katz. This is comfy, this is like a pillow for you. Do you like it? Do you? Are you smelling the fresh air, Tom Katz? Are you? I think I may have a fire tonight. I'm gonna see if Fedora wants to come over. Okay, I just gotta get organized here and then um, gonna start working on something else. Anyways, you guys had posted on a video a while ago saying that you guys didn't like the idea on where my air intake was. Set up like there. I didn't really do too much research on it. And I understood that you would be sucking up hot air from the bottom. And I did have a realization I was gonna try to build like a little cone right there and maybe suck up from the vents. But further research, turns out anybody who's had their air intake for the LS swap up there, their um, intake temperatures are too high. So I picked up some more parts. As you can see, I got a 45 elbow. Not gonna use that filter. I actually picked up a smaller one because I wanna try to route it here. If I route it in here, I might be able to remodify that base. I'll have to uh, repowder coat it, whatever. But then I'll drop it down a little bit lower and maybe tilt it up. And I'll see what I can do. But let me get reorganized. And we'll figure this out one step at a time. <sighs> this case, a little bit of white grease will go a long ways to help put that on. You don't need much. Just enough to get her wet. Get her wet enough to stick it in. And then I'm gonna slide. Some people may say that this filter is a little bit small, but doing some research, this has been proven to work on LS motors, and some people have even used them in their Jeeps without any issues. So this is why I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna go with this one here. And that 45. The black 90 I have is actually better quality than what this blue one is, but this blue one suited better to fit. So I don't want to modify the black one unless I absolutely have to. And I just, like I said, recently picked up this 45. I know I'm gonna have to cut it down to make the filter fit properly, but I want to see how it's gonna look first before I decide, you know, go down that rabbit hole and modify it. Doing the overall test fit, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. I got the clearance where the fan is so I don't have to worry about it rubbing. It's not touching on the radiator hose. Um, I need to cut it back a little bit like I said so the filter has a little bit more clearance on where the fender is and the hood will close. So I think I'm going to be pretty good. So I'm going to get ready to start cutting this tube. I picked up one of these Metal Max. You guys had any luck using these super cutting wheels? Supposed to be a lot better than the wheel like this doesn't apparently wear down. Now for this Milwaukee tool, pro tip, take out the battery before you change it and then lock it. And remember that it's reverse thread because uh, I see a lot of incidents where people are gonna bust that screw off. It's definitely got some weight to it. Fits on good. Remember, this time it's lefty tighty. Let's get some gloves on.
Oh, it sucks about this thing. Once the battery power gets low, it just starts kicking out all the time. I got this little battery charged up, but it's not going to last long. Battery number two, and I haven't even got halfway around. Well, this battery here is not full strength either. I got one on the... One on the rapid charge right now. Oh, fuck, brutal. I was gonna do all trusty. Got the tube cut. You cannot beat an air tool. As long as you got air, you're gonna have power forever. This thing here, I love Milwaukee tools, I really do. But I'm honestly gonna say, in my opinion, this is a piece of shit. I would not recommend anybody spending money to buy that. It's the only Milwaukee tool that I've gotten so far that I am really disappointed in. And I'm not afraid to come out and say it when products are just not doing it for me. I don't suck the corporate dick. I don't do fucking sponsorships. So whatever you guys see me say, that's my opinion on what I think about that product. Other people who are probably sucking the corporate dick will probably tell you that thing is awesome. I'm telling you, it's not worth the money. I wish I would have never bought it. I do know they make a 6 amp hour battery that might make it a little bit more bearable, but I still don't think it'd be all that great. Anyways, let's get back to fitting up the air intake system. Cut the tube down, fits a lot better, got a lot more clearance down at where the fender is, which is what I was after, and it's looking good. I still gotta wait for some clamps to come in to finish it off. So now, I gotta figure out where the computer is going to go now. I could probably take this box, move it down there for the time being, and then see if I could fit the computer somewhere. Need to cut this piece off and try to figure something out. Well, this is not gonna be the most ideal situation. But if I could set the computer right back there, I know it's close to the header, someone's gonna say it. But I ordered some thermal tape. It's supposed to be good to stop radiant heat up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I go there and make bracket and weld it on, I think I'll be all right. Well, I don't know how much grief that's gonna give me, but that's how I'm gonna work it for now. I'm gonna weld it on. I just fast forward a ton because I'm spending way too much time on this. I just gotta find a way to reroute the, the wiring there to clean her up a little bit. Things are actually starting to work out in my favor, but I gotta shut her down, run some errands. Fedora's thinking about coming over tonight, talk about having a fire, but I think I got it, how I'm gonna run the wiring. It's pissing around, coming up the fuel rail, come across underneath the battery jumper and spin around just like that. And I think I'll have her all sandwiched in there. Used motor oil is the best fire starter known to man. Haven't heard from Fedora yet. He said he might come over. Now I'm just gonna enjoy having a Cuban cigar and drink a couple beer cats. I need to go outside to the garage soon, but you can have a little cuddle first. I know. Is there anything you want to say to your fans, Tomcats? Is there? And are you going to avoid the camera? And are you? Are you gonna give them a smile? Is that your zero fucks look, Tomcat? Is it? You don't care, do you? No, you don't. Tomcat's cuddle session is over. It's time to get back outside in the garage. Beautiful day out. It's like nine degrees, February 2nd. Snow is melting. It was actually raining briefly a little bit earlier. But Fedora came over last night, drank a few beers, some had some good ones. Had this uh, 
Steamworks Winter Lager was actually really good. Of course, I had Chill Coot and Half Hitch Brewing Company out of Cochrane. Had some Farmer's Daughter. Ooh, yeah. This one here was actually pretty good too. Afternoon Delight by the Establishment Brewing Company was really good too. So as you guys know, I love to buy tools. I don't like to struggle. I do enough of that at work. My hair is not really the messy situation I want. But if you guys would have watched that live stream a while ago where the head gasket leaked and I put my um, coolant tester on and that's how we found out coolant was coming out of the heads and had some issues with it. Well, I got another one, picked up another one. This one is like the kit of all kits. This is from Eight Mile Lake. And this one here has a million different adapters and can do a whole bunch of stuff. So no more messing around. Look at that. And this was delivered today that I picked up off Amazon. Aluminized heat barrier for the computer because it's pretty close to the header. So once I powder coat that piece, I'm gonna line the computer with this to help protect it. First one is an Instagrammer by the name of Sticky Bandit. Of course, my buddy Kevin gave me a sticker too to add to my hood. Matt from Up North Vids sent me a couple stickers and a letter. Jerry Great Channel Bud, been watching for a long time, learning some shit when you're done with the Jeep, you should bring back a cooking video. The buffalo chicken recipe you put together is a staple now in the house. Anyway, sorry I can't send any beer. I'm in liberal occupied, would that be Maine? And liquor laws here are pretty tight. Hope there's room left, motherfucking beer time. Excellent. Thank you, Matt, from Up North Vids. We also got a Trump 2020, make liberals cry again. That's hilarious. <laughs> this next one is from Okanagan Overland. Holy, this is very professional. Got a whole bunch of stickers. Got like a postcard that's like high quality. Hi Jerry, some stickers for your hood. Sorry it took so long, really enjoy the videos. Keep up the great work. Let me know if you're ever in the Okanagan. Would be great to meet up for a beer or some camping. Note the large decker, large decal is a bumper sticker and removable. Removable? Interesting. And here's his card that he sent. Instagram, blog, email. Very professional. I want to thank everybody who has sent me some stickers. Now i got to find some room on the hood to put everything. Sometimes people ask, aren't you worried about the stickers falling off the hood because of the heat? That's why before I put them on, I super glue them. Maybe that'll work. There we have it. All the new stickers are put up. Should probably drag the sandblaster out of the shed and sandblast that up quickly. This is a little bit stiff. The media doesn't seem like it's frozen, so might be good to go. That glass used to be clear once upon a time, but it is what it is. It's starting to rain, sleet, hail, whatever the heck it is. At least the outside's done. I didn't get the inside, which is going to coat like crap, but no one's going to see that anyways. Shut her down. Just getting things fired up here. I'm going to try something new. Some of you have said to preheat the part before you powder coat it. We're going to give that a whirl, see if that makes it any better. Prep is everything for powder coating, so 
I don't expect the inside to be any good, but the outside has been blasted and cleaned, so I'm hoping that should turn out decent. Well, let's see what happens. I don't know, maybe go 10 minutes or so. Hey, we're probably good and toasty now. Even through the leather gloves, it's she's warm. Interesting thing is, spray it when it's hot, it's like it melts to it. Door open for some ventilation. Well, that's bacon. Start putting that on. Moving along, got this covered as best as I possibly could. I think, uh, I think it should be all right, help out at least. I'm not gonna install this till after I crank it over a few times, get the oil going and then put the spark plugs in. It is actually pre-oiled because I removed one of the oil plugs in the block and it oil came out, so I don't have to worry about that. So what do you guys think? Will I have any concerns with this? Did I waste my time putting that aluminized heat barrier on it? I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments below. But I think it's time I shut her down. The motherfucking beer time. I'm gonna try one of these from Europe. So I got this Baltic Ale, 7.5% from my buddy from Europe, Joko Jinder. Thank you once again for the beer. All right, motherfucking beer time. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sniff the beer. Because sometimes um, when beer gets shipped over from Europe in the wintertime, it freezes. And then, I don't know, kind of like, um, bottle starts to leak. And then, it kind of smells skunked. But this beer smells good, so, motherfucking beer time. Baltic Ale. Fuck, that's good. <sighs> Moving forward, I want to thank everybody for being patient. <sighs> Had a big setback. Uh, it took a while to fix that up. Otherwise, by now, we could have had this thing fired up. But now, I'm at the stage where I was. Maybe just slightly ahead from when I had to tear down the engine to replace the head gaskets and water pump and everything else. That takes a lot of time. And um, gonna next video, going to keep piddling with some of the smaller stuff. Try to get 
the wiring in that all finished and taken care of and then transmission lines exhaust throttle cable shit like that still got a ways to go but moving forward now so i want to thank you guys for watching i appreciate it motherfucking beer time if you guys have any questions or comments post them below and i'll see you guys next video Lest the coronavirus kills us all.